at that. It's so sunk in, it's broke. Real split. Wow, look at that. Man, there's all kind of historical relics here. What's up, guys and gals? We are exploring a abandoned railroad here. The other side from Junction Park, if you will. Today's video is not about Junction Park, but it is about this abandoned railroad slash trolley slash streetcar maze that was once parked and served daily the citizens of New Brighton and other folks in Beaver County. And as you can see, it has seen better days. Look at it, even with the joint bar split. Split right in half. Damn, this is old. It's getting hard to see through here. There's the remnants of a big old pole, telephone pole there. And a lot of the gravel that they used to keep the tracks from raising up from the ice. Look at all that. Just waiting for the taking, huh? Well, maybe I can go on this little road here. warm today in Pennsylvania. Muggy actually. No wind, overcast. Perfect day for filming. You guys are going to laugh, but you know what? I keep looking in the back of me because I'm so used to it because I've trained myself when I'm exploring on railroads. I keep looking in the back. Well, 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 look at this, an old switch. Wow, 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 wow. How about that? How old do you think this is? Wow. Huh, another nice little gold mine here. Man, is this sucker old. Oh, New Century Pole Corporation. And these plates here, made in Bethlehem. Bethlehem still, right there. Oh, these so need to be in museums, man. You know, Beaver County has a couple of historical societies. Why doesn't somebody come here and put these where they need to be instead of having them just sitting here rotting away? Damn. This one says Cleveland, I think. Yep, Cleveland. There's a switch because there's a part of the railroad goes back there. So that must have went way, way into Rochester. I mean, it's not like it's that far, but look at this. Some kind of writing on here, I can't see it. This has definitely seen better days, man. Can't see any more writing. There's too many joint boards here. I can't, there's nothing. 
That's a nice monster right there. I can't wish I could read the writing on it, but it's not legible. Look at the size of that. To think how many people used to be going through here like today on a Monday afternoon. Just think how many people would have been the norm, you know, it would have been just like, man, there's an endless plethora of bike and walking trails back here. It's insane. It's crazy. All the stuff that's back here, still back here, some modern and some, you know, as you can see, it's very old. Well, there's part of an old bridge up there. Well, we're going to get to that in a minute. But first, I want to see what's here. There's a lot of... There used to be something here. This is obviously part of the old railroad covered where this was the streetcar because these rails look different they're much more flat on the top uh, it's just a pile of rail railroad ties I thought it was something else well, it, it, it looks like it certainly was. There's something here that's... I don't know. Let's go check it out. You see how flat these rails are compared to the train ones? Oh, wow, look at that. Here goes a deer. Wow! It's a big doe. You scared me, too. Uh, there it goes. Wow, that thing was huge. That'd be nice to put in the freezer. <laughs> yes, I love deer meat. I eat it. I don't hunt, but... For future reference, uh, if anybody's willing to sell me some deer meat in the future, DM me for... Uh, we'll come to agreement and set up a price. Yeah, maybe nothing was here. Maybe it was just a... It was dug out for the rail cars, but it's all collapsed in now. Pretty difficult to identify what it once may have been, if anything at all. So, onward. If I start looking in the grounds, I wonder how many arrowheads I can find. I'll get to that bridge in a minute. I just want to see what's back here. cover up the rail run this is just a trail okay so you folks that live in New Brighton you see where I'm at right okay so where if I walk this where is it gonna take me to put a comment below and tell me and uh, I'll save it I'll put it on my uh, to-do list for uh, further exploration but today, I, when I first started the series of Junction Park, I saw this railroad bridge and I wanted to examine it, but I had other uh, priorities, obviously, and I wasn't able to get to it on the days for which I've already filmed, which you've already seen thus far. So um, that's why we're looking at this right now, because I just want to see. Ooh, there's some writing here. USA. That's very old. Very old. 
very, very old. Uh, I swear I hear seagulls. See where we're at? Yeah, I mean, it's not a secret. I want to see what's down here. I might go underneath this bridge if I get the opportunity. See what it looks like when I get up here. Not, what you're seeing is what I'm seeing for the first time, if, unless you know better and you've already been here. So I have not. <laughs> so everything I'm doing right now is just gut instinct. I'm just a guy with a camera right now and I'm just walking. I've never been on this bridge or in this area. So. <clears throat> See, it's going to present a real problem for me. That's why I got to get a machete because when all this shit grows in, it's going to be really hard getting down here. And it's <laughs> Pennsylvania's replete with jaggers, so fuck if I had access to a flamethrower, I'd get one. <laughs> I'm serious. I'd burn up the whole Beaver County just exploring. I'd certainly be a wanted man. Man, this bridge is old. Now see, that's the new part of the railroad right there. It goes over the bridge. Veterans Bridge going into New Brighton. That's the new part over there. And we're still on this old one. Now, I know I'm not supposed to be up here either, but uh, the highway's under there, so I can't really expect, inspect under this bridge anyways. Probably nothing here. But this was a switch. This would be from Rochester coming into New Brighton. This is Carnegie still. 19 looks like it says 1908 well that would have been around the right time oh man is this rusted out wow that is some old rail right there man jeez that is old man look at that these have been here for a while. <laughs> There's no question about it, man. These have been here for a while. Oh, boy. All right. Let's go on the bridge. I sure hope nobody sees me. Well, I can cover up myself here in a minute. Another switch. There's a lot of switches here. I'd say these are safe to walk on. <clears throat> these tracks are in better shape than down there wonder when this bridge was built a lot of steel they don't build them like this anymore I wish there was a, uh, some kind of label on here. Oh, this is scary. We're like right under the highway. You know what? I'm going to walk on this because in case this thing collapses, I'm going to die. So, JS and BS, you're getting a shout out on YouTube. <laughs> Man. What the 
hell of a lot. This whole damn thing's a switch. Jeez, it's crazy. Now, before I got here, walking on the Veterans Bridge, I saw some trucks over here. They were working on the railroad. I don't know if they're gone or not, because if they're still there, I can't hang around on this, because if they see me, they're going to call the cops. But I might be able to explore down here for a little bit. Doesn't look like a place I'd want to be, but... <laughs> I wonder how old this is. Ping! This is super cool though, it really is. Explore down there. I don't think there's anything down there. <sighs> if I can take a look, we'll see. I just gotta find out where that truck went because that thing that was on the railroad, it was over here somewhere. It must have moved up. It was right by the bridge. I don't see it now. And look at that, huh? Ooh, there's a lot of railroad spikes left. Jeez. See if I can get up here. Uh, not a good idea. Yeah, this would have, it would have went right in the Junction Park. I might come back here and just make another video if my narration requires it. But like I said, today, this is not Junction Park. I'm just exploring this part of the railroad. So I can make this in the Junction Park, but eh, we'll see. Oh, shit. There they are. Shit. Shit. They're right there. They're on the old railroad track. Why would they be on the old railroad track? Shit. Maybe there's nobody on it. Yeah, why would they be on this one? They can't, they don't fix it. This one, that's not even in use. Shit. I don't know if there's somebody on there or not. Damn it. Shit, there's a truck there. No, there's somebody on there. All right, I got to go. I'm, in, I'm going to be in trouble. There, there's a truck right there. So I got to go. I got to get the hell out of here. Why would they be on this one? I don't see anybody there, though. I don't see anyone. There's nobody doing anything. All right. I think it's just wise to go. All right, um, I'm going to end the video abruptly. I wanted to go down there, but I need to double check to make sure that that has just been there for a while or whatever. So in the meantime, I got to get out of here. All right, guys, like, subscribe. I'm going to see what else I can get into, and um, I'll make another video. Junction Park is coming. I hope you're enjoying the series. A lot of you seem to be because you're making a lot of comments, and some of you showed me other things and sent me videos and whatnot. And I am aware of the videos that you have sent me. I have seen those on YouTube. But that's not kind of part of what I'm doing with the series. I'm just showing you the kind of before and after parts of it through photos and videos. So, but anyways, I do appreciate all the feedback that I've been getting. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you so much for your comments. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for taking the time out to watch my videos. I truly appreciate it. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and we will see you in the next one.